Uh, we have Mr. Chokalingam with us and Gaurang Shah. Thank you, gentlemen. Um, uh, G. Chokalingam, one of the most uh, trusted names in investing, uh, I would have to say that, and uh, Gaurang Shah with their picks. And also, Madan Sabnavis, we are going to discuss with him the impact of GST. But uh, Choka, is it something that you're going to take seriously, this GST? Is it really going to have that 1%, 2% GDP growth impact? Or are you back to just looking at those individual stocks, looking at them and uh, just doing your own thing? Yeah, you are absolutely right. Uh, we would continue to look at the individual stocks for the next two to three years. Uh, in our view, GST would take a minimum two years to implement. And to show impact on the economy, it will take a minimum three years. So therefore, it is uh, too early to you know uh, react to the GST. So the stock-specific approach should be continued uh, you know, next one to two years. Okay. Before I go to Gorang and we discuss uh, the uh, GST impact, uh, Choka, just give us your top picks because our viewers wait for these picks from you and Gorang. So give us your top picks at the moment. Yeah, I would give uh, four top picks. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, I would uh, suggest uh, Indico. Uh, you know, I firmly believe that uh, the current oil price crash, which is about 17% from June peak, is uh, positive for Indico. Uh, you know, earlier we had a target price of 1000 We continue to believe that it can reach that price. Second is uh, Jammu Kashmir Bank. Uh, still, it is uh, available at a discount adjusted book value based on the March quarter. And uh, I firmly believe that in a year or so, the stock can give anywhere from 50% to 100% return. And uh, two value stocks, uh, they are not fit for the short-term investors, only for the long-term investors. Right. Uh, one is Savita Oil Technology. The second is Tire Evolution, uh, IMEA's Tire Evolution. Right. Both are not played out in the market. Hmm. Uh, both are, uh, you know, the user of uh, derivatives of oil. I firmly believe that uh, the investors who have a one to two year time frame can buy these two stocks. Among the four stocks I have mentioned, uh, we personally invested in uh, Jammu Kashmir Bank. And uh, just to remind our viewers that Savita Oil <coughs> and you said Styrolution, uh, Ioneus Styr Styrolution Solutions, uh, these are both not illiquid stocks and so you'll have to wear. If I remember correctly, you told us that this Ioneus Styrolution Solutions also has an MNC play, right? If I'm not yeah, wrong, sorry. that the MNC uh, mother company might actually, buy, parent company might actually buy out. And there might yeah. be a buyback? Yeah, it's a subsidiary of uh, European ideas. Ah. Uh, there is a delisting possibility also. Three times they attempted, all three times they failed. Hmm. Now, recently they merged uh, uh, the fully owned subsidiary of the parent company with a listed entity. Hmm. Normally, MNCs don't do that. Hmm. So, that also gives me a lot of uh, conviction that uh, eventually it can be delisted. And after the merger, actually, the volumes of the public place has got a potential for the company. Right. So, right. Choka, uh, uh, quick uh, disclaimer because your connection today is a little bad, so uh, we'll have to let you go. Any disclosures you'd like to make? Yeah, among all the stocks I've mentioned, uh, we have invested only in uh, Jammu Kashmir Bank, all personally. Right. And all the stocks we hold for our clients. All right, okay. Thank you so much, G. Chokalingam. The connection is a little bit bad today. Uh, Gorang Shah is here with us. Again, Gorang, early morning, people want to get into the trade. So, what are your picks? So, uh, in the two stock ideas, uh, one is TBS uh, Motors uh, from a two-wheeler space and the other one is from the Pharma, Dishman Pharma. On uh, Dishman Pharma, we have a target of somewhere close to about 220. On TBS Motors, we are looking at an initial target, very short to medium term, 310. Uh, we are quite optimistic on the earnings uh, for the future to come by, quarters to come by. Mm. And uh, as and when these uh, earnings and future unfold, if they are in line or better, keeping in mind the numbers that these companies deliver, we'll revise our target upwards. But as a disclosure, positive coverage on both of them, and we've recommended these stocks to our clients. And your targets for them, right? TVS Motors is, uh, what is your target on TVS Motors? TVS Motors, immediately near-term target is 310, and okay. on Dishman Pharma, long-term target is 220. On 220 is the long-term uh, target on Dishman Pharma, and TVS Motor, immediate target 310. So one is a slightly short-term investment, the other is a longer one that you have to hold. All right, the euphoria was short-lived. I'll have to say that uh, the Nifty has almost immediately sold off and that's what we expected, but didn't expect it to happen within 15 minutes of market opening. We expected an 8600 opening and maybe go all the way up to 8610 odd and then a sell-off to come in and then 8540 odd, 8550 odd to hold for a while, but that has not happened. So the sell-off has come 
almost immediately. Madan Sabnavis and uh, Gaurang Shah are with us right now. Uh, you know, I'm going to discuss in detail with Madan the economic impact of this, but Gorang, I know you have to go. I've kept you waiting. But uh, did you expect that uh, uh, it's going to happen like this? And before you answer, I'm just going to say that Samir Arora spoke to us almost a month ago and he said the last stage of this build-up, uh, run-up, is going to be the GST. Once it's passed, for 15 days we'll see a run-up and then people will say everything's priced in, it's too far away, and then the sell-off will come. 15 days, he said. This turns out to be 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, to be honest, since yesterday in our con call, what we've been advising, and even in this morning while I was on the way to your studio, yeah. uh, I was in our internal con call that we have every morning before the market open, and we've advised uh, to book profit since uh, yesterday opening, and even this morning, mm. post the 8600 that we saw on the Nifty spot for 15 minutes, yeah. uh, we had advised to take money off the table at least from a short to medium term point of view. Mm. And not everything is known and clear as of now. We only know that the oh, so you are the culprit right now. <laughs> 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 I hope I'm not to hold uh, to the book of the law or hanged uh, by neck for that. But uh, let's be uh, let's face it, Anandya. I think. Uh, what we know is that the GST is now a reality. Yeah. What we don't know is what are the uh, revenue neutral rate mm. and uh, what are the different brackets uh, which are going to come through. Mm. Uh, and I, my sense is, and as Mr. Naik was also giving his verbatim, that uh, you have to uh, do this ASAP in terms of declaring the rate so that even the big, small and medium enterprises mm. can prepare themselves in terms of back-end infrastructure mm. for the reality of uh, April 1st, 2017 rollout, mm. if that has to happen. Mm. So, I think what the market wants to know now is the intricate details yeah. and the fine print between the lines. Mm. Unless we know that, I think, uh, and I'm not too surprised, uh, we've come a long way from 8,000, 8,200 to almost 8,700 that we saw a while back. Yeah. And uh, small consolidation and uh, profit booking base building, I think yeah. it's always healthy for the market and gives an opportunity for new investors. I suspect a lot of uh, people who invest with not to trade but to invest are going to be happy today because they are going to get some opportunities. Right? Absolutely, that's what I was mentioning that right. new investors will come in and yeah. you know it's always better to see stock exchange hand rather to stay in one hand. Yeah. Right, uh, Gorang Shah, uh, you spoke about two stocks and you also mentioned that you have told many people to actually book profits on old investments, any disclosures that you'd like to make? Well, on these two stocks that we mentioned, uh, no personal investments, uh, but yes, uh, we have been recommending these stocks to our clients on India. All right, thank you so much. I've held you up. Thanks a lot for joining us. Um, uh, pleasure talking to you as usual.